In our last episode, we explored the seven cures for a lean purse, taught by the wealthy old man Arkad. Before we bid farewell to the ancient city of Babylon, there's one more remarkable story to share, the journey of Nomasir, Arkad's son, who learned the five laws of gold. As the wealthiest man in Babylon, Arkad was known not only for his riches but also for his wisdom. He had a son named Nomasir, who expected to inherit his father's wealth, as was the custom. But Arkad had other plans. He wanted Nomasir to prove himself capable of handling wealth responsibly before becoming his heir. So, Arkad called Nomasir and told him he must first demonstrate his ability to acquire and manage wealth. Arkad gave Nomasir a single bag of gold and a clay tablet inscribed with the five laws of gold. Then, he sent Nomasir out into the world with the instruction to return in ten years, at which point he would decide if Nomasir was truly worthy of his inheritance. Nomasir set out with great hope and ambition, traveling to the city of Nineveh, a bustling center of commerce. There, he quickly made friends, and soon, two of them presented a business opportunity, a wager on a horse race. They convinced him their horse would win against that of a wealthy local, and Nomasir bet heavily. But it was all a deceit, the wealthy man was in on the scheme, and Nomasir lost most of his gold in one swift blow. Undeterred, Nomasir tried his luck again with a different friend, who persuaded him to buy a merchant's shop. With Nomasir's gold, they purchased the shop, but his partner proved irresponsible, wasting their resources and leaving Nomasir with unsellable goods and no gold. Desperate, Nomasir sold the shop at a loss and found himself penniless. With no choice but to sell his remaining possessions, Nomasir faced many bitter days. Then, he remembered the clay tablet his father had given him carrying the five laws of gold. He carefully read each law, realizing how they could have saved him from misfortune. Here are the five laws of gold. 1. Gold comes gladly and in increasing quantity to any man who will set aside not less than one-tenth of his earnings to create an estate for his future and his family. 2. Gold labors diligently and contentedly for the wise owner who finds for it profitable employment, multiplying even as the flocks of the field. 3. Gold clings to the protection of the cautious owner who invests it under the advice of men wise in its handling. 4. Gold slips away from the man who invests it in ventures with which he is not familiar or which are not approved by those skilled in its keep. 5. Gold flees the man who would force it to impossible earnings or who follows the alluring advice of tricksters and schemers or who trusts it to his own inexperience. With renewed determination, Nomasir committed the laws to memory. He soon found employment managing slaves on a city project, saving every copper he could. His discipline impressed the overseer, who invited Nomasir to join a business venture, securing copper and tin for the gates of Nineveh. Following the third law of gold, Nomasir invested his savings with wise men and multiplied his earnings. Over time, Nomasir's wealth grew rapidly as he participated in more ventures. He became respected and wealthy, not by luck, but by adhering to the principles his father had taught him. Ten years later, Nomasir returned to Babylon. Arkad hosted a grand feast, where Nomasir shared his journey. To his father's delight, he presented three bags of gold, one to replace the original, and two more as a testament to the wisdom of the five laws of gold. Arkad, deeply moved, placed his hand on his son's head, saying, You have proven yourself, my son, and I am fortunate to have you as my heir. And thus, Nomasir inherited his father's wealth and wisdom, growing it many times over. And that, my friends, is the story of the five laws of gold. These timeless principles show us that wealth is not merely inherited but grown through discipline, wisdom, and respect for financial laws. Which law resonated with you the most? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this journey to ancient Babylon, please like, share, and subscribe to How What Why for more timeless wisdom and financial insights.